most of us will never achieve immortality through fame, so maybe there's a potion or something we can drink? Drink that potion, and you'll never grow even one day older. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts, the series where we reveal, you guessed it, five random facts about a fascinating topic. Today we're counting down five amazing facts about the pursuit of longevity. When it comes to longevity, there is no short-term fix in a pill or anything else. Number five, the first person to live to a thousand may already be alive. I am thousands of years old. I have been immortal and I did make a bargain with the devil. A Faustian bargain might not actually be necessary, according to Aubrey de Grey, a biomedical gerontologist with a flair for the dramatic. It is very controversial to say that I am working on the world's most important problem, but I really am. His research has identified seven specific types of cellular damage that together result in what we recognize as aging. He is confident that by regularly repairing that damage before it causes actual disease, we can escape the ill health of old age indefinitely, and that the first person who will achieve this may already be born. My God, I have an age today. Clean living. Number four, the leading cause of centenarians, a lack of birth records. Well, sir, I must say that you really don't look uh, 2,000. Well, I take care of myself, sir. Well. <laughs> According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the oldest person ever lived to be 122 years and 164 days old. But a handful of other people have come forward claiming to be older than that by decades. Those caring for Madame Calmont said she kept her sense of humour until the end. I've only ever had one wrinkle, she said, and I'm sitting on it. An Ethiopian man died in 2015 claiming he was 163 years old. A Romanian man may or may not have lived to be 148. China claimed they had the oldest living woman. What do these people all have in common? A lack of independently verifiable records of their birth, which is why Guinness has never recognized them. I might be confusing cause and correlation here, but I think that means that to live to 150, all you have to do is lose your birth certificate. I, I think we'd all believe it more if you had some way to authenticate it. You have a birth certificate. We didn't have that then. You didn't have birth. No, we didn't have 2,000 years ago. We didn't have, we, we didn't have nothing. We didn't have ballpoint pens. You didn't have- You weren't even up to ink, darling. Number three, ancient rulers drank mercury for long life. <laughs> when you have absolute power, you want to make it last forever. Various ancient Chinese emperors sought advice from alchemists whose recommendations included drinking metals, including mercury. He chose poorly. More than one emperor died as a result of these so-called immortality treatments. The logic was something like, metal lasts a long time. If I drink it, I will last a long time. <laughs> By that logic, the most effective way to lose weight is to follow an all-helium diet. And eating dog whistles should make you Mariah Carey. Number two, young blood rejuvenates the old. <laughs> Studies have shown ways that blood from young mice rejuvenates older mice and pointed the way forward for similar research to be done in humans. They discovered that supplied with the young blood, the old heart was rejuvenated and took on the appearance and efficiency of the heart of a young mouse. Data in humans is scarce so far, but there's a large study involving transfusions from young donors being given to elderly Alzheimer's patients. Media outlets were quick to sensationalize this, dubbing it the vampire effect. But researchers insisted that just drinking straight up blood is not enough. Presumably they have wrinkly arthritic vampire mice to prove it. <laughs> Number one. Long-living cultures have nine common traits. So to make it to age 100, you not only have to have had a very good lifestyle, you also have to have won the genetic lottery. Blue zones are areas where people have unusually long lives. Researcher and author Dan Butner has identified five of them across the world and found nine common lifestyle traits that he says help people there live past 100. Among them are eating a semi-vegetarian diet and being part of a faith-based community. So to live to 100, you may have to give up bacon bombs and get baptized. But luckily, drinking one or two glasses of alcohol per day is also recommended. Woo! 
So, what did you think about these facts? You can all live forever or you can die this second. And I don't give a shit which. What age do you want to live to? But only I can live forever. For more long-lasting top 10s and short-lived top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on, you hate! You wanna live forever? <laughs>